Hi Libra Gang, welcome to your video. So this video is based on your person. So this is going to tell me um, if it's your crush, if it's your ex-partner, if anyone that you have like a crush or have any feelings towards um, or anyone in general that you think of that when you put this video on then this is the messages for yourselves um so what i've done is i premeditated and pre-shuffled on the cards these are the tarot cards side of it not the oracles um it's gonna delve in um into what this person is like and their personality and the way they are um they may be a past person or new person whatever comes to your mind about this person then this is the reading just take whatever you can resonate with um just a disclaimer for all you cross watchers as well you're more than welcome to take whatever you can resonate with in this reading as well so what i have done um a couple of cards there is quite a few cards that have come out for you about this person so i'm going to start off with your first card then which was the eight of pentacles so this person they are really hard working um, they work a lot but they also making the effort to put a lot of work into your relationship um, into a commitment or they did there is a lot of um, good efforts for this person they are willing to put a lot of effort um, into a relationship or they did in the past or they see that you can put some good efforts in as well so there is a lot of working um to get where they want in life and like with the situations in a relationship or marriage anything like that whatever you can resonate with this person they are working they butts off so to speak um to get what they want in life um and to make things very um clear and to make things work out um they put on a lot of hard work in but also for some of them they could be generally working hard in their job um there may be some type of apprenticeship that this person is ongoing and you may meet with this person um at a work or an at apprenticeship um some way um for some of you i've got like um handcraft there's a lot of like working with their hands so this person may work a lot with their hands or um you work a lot with your hands so to speak so this is a lot of work effort that this person is um willing to put in to whatever certain situation this person comes in um the next card we have for you then is the reverse page of wands so there is that sense of this person have a lot of indecisions that they have in life what they want to achieve um whether to pursue in a relationship um there is a lot of decisions that they need to make but they haven't made it just as yet um for some of them they want to proceed to come forward to you but there is a lot of gossip for some of you that's going on either about yourself or about this person there is to be some type of gossip about this person um so maybe they viewed gossip about you and this is why they are indecide indecisive about whether to come to you um so there is a lot of um indecisions about this person whether to pursue moving forward or what to do for the for the future or for the present moment when it comes to yourselves next card then is the eight of swords so this person they have a lot of mental conflicts they have a lot of frustrations um they feel that they are imprisoned for some of them they may be in, in prison um for some of you due to isolation they can't come towards you um there's a lot of feeling bound they can't move forward with their life they can't come towards you because the pandemic there's a lot of things that they have gone through or they are currently going through mentally um their thoughts a lot of feeling of being depressed um in isolation um and a lot of feeling of imprisonment with this person so there's a lot of things that's going on with this person mentally there's some type of mental conflict going on with this person there's a lot of 
things that's going on. They don't know what to do. They don't know whether to come forward. They don't know whether to make the first move in communicating to you. Or they're not sure. Or just in general, they just can't connect to you because of some type of situation that they are going they are going through. Next card then is the reverse seven of pentacles. Right, reverse seven of pentacles. This person, they are going through a lot of anxieties. They feel that everything is not easy for them at the moment. They don't feel they can approach you just yet because the mental hardships and conflicts and things like that they are currently going through, they, they just can't come to you as of yet for some of you. For others of you, they're just going through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, a lot of things. Maybe they're in the same situation where they got to hold back a few things. Either if they're in a relationship, they may have a lot of anxiety around the relationship. There is that sense of unease. Things not working out just as yet for them. They feel constantly down. They can't be uplifted at the moment. They want to come towards you, but there's a lot of things that's holding this person back. Next card then is reverse King of Swords. Okay. So this person can be very cold-hearted when they want to be. They can be a bit manipulative. They can also be very cruel. They can also be a dictator. But it's also the feeling that they are above people. Or this is how they perceive you, how they see you. This is... Um, is with it. a lot of them have got a lot of conflicts, a lot of things that's going on and is making them lash out, making them be cold hearted, um, may not think about you or not put you first. There's a lot of being abrasive. They demand respect for some of them as well. They're the type of people to make promises and not keep promises as well. Next card is Reverse Five of Pentacles. So this person is eventually going to be overcoming all their worries, all their anxieties, all the uneasiness. They are going to be coming out of that, which is very good. Or well, for some of you, this may be a new interest, a new person that's coming in forward for you or a new person coming in for this person. So, um, or for some of you, you may not be thinking about this person any longer and then it's something else or someone else comes forward to you, a new interest or something, someone else or something else. How can I say? become a new um, eye candy, so to speak. There is that sensation and the feeling that no longer need to worry anymore. Whatever was holding this person or whatever holding you, it's no longer going to. There's that movement forward. Next card then is the Knight of Swords. There is to be some type of person that's going to be coming in, maybe the same person or someone else, that's going to be very brave. They are going to come in quick and fast with some communication. You may have an email, text, phone call, some type of letter, something that's going to be coming in from a new person. They, 
they're going to take action or this person's going to come in and take some action to you. They're going to pursue forward. They're going to come in to you. Make a love offer for some of you. Or just in general, they're going to make some type of communication to you. Reverse King of Cups. This person is going to be double dealing, so there may be some type of third party situation coming in. Not 100% sure at the moment because I can't see any third, three cards. But it's a possibility there may be a double dealing, so dealing with another person, dealing with another situation, dealing with another type of distraction. Being very crafty, being very dishonest, keeping secrets. But then for some of you, this person have lost you for good. They may seem that they've lost you and you turn them down. It's that sense of, who shall I turn to now? If they don't want me, then who's going to have me? Is that is that, is that type of energy that's coming, coming across? But this person can be very dishonest so that may have made things go the way it is going or did go because you have the reverse levers separation breakup a divorce a lot of unfaithfulness this person may be very unfaithful or they see you as unfaithful and it caused a lot of arguments, disagreements, a lot of hot, heated tension going on. We then have the tower. So there may be some type of catastrophe or there may be some type of something that's going to happen quick. The divorce may finalise pretty quick. The relationship may end very quick. There may be a new relationship coming in that can be very quick. There's a lot of sub -type, some type of sudden change. Some distractions I'm getting coming through as well. Quick action. And some type of disaster for some of you as well. Five of Swords card then is the next card. This person may feel that they have lost you for good. But they don't understand that there is a lot more things there for them. Other people there for them maybe. They feel that they are defeated. There's some type of argument. For some of you, this person, they may have theft. Or they ghosted you. Or you run away from them, or they run away from you. It's that sense of escapism. And feel like everything is gone, everything is lost. Three of Cups. It may be to do with a third party situation. Or there is some type of celebration coming in. There is to be some type of harmony. So you may come into contact with friends, family, feeling happy, a relief. Celebrating single time. Next card is the reverse Ace of Pentacles.
there is the sense of lack of planning again. Not knowing what's around the corner. Not knowing what's to happen to the, for the future. Maybe there is a lost opportunity. Maybe this person lost out on an opportunity with another person. Or you going to lose out or you feel that you lost out on an opportunity to go with someone else there is that sense of for some of you going with that one person when you could have been with someone else that was much better and now you've actually lost that opportunity to go with that person that you was going to go with before you went with this other person and you feel like you've lost out on it or this person Next card then is the Six of Cups. So there's a lot of happy memories. Memories of the past, maybe happy memories about this other person that you was going to have that opportunity and move forward with. There's a lot of childhood memories. A lot of memories with a previous lover or a previous friend. Someone that you met in the past, coming forward. A lot of happy times, a lot of joy. Next card then is reverse Six of Pentacles. There is that focusing then on some type of self-care. There is some um, unpaid debts for some of you. Maybe this person have left you in debt. Or there is some type of one-sided charity where you may have given this person money or give them something and they never give you it back. Vice versa. So there is a lot of money concerns coming up. Next card then is reverse star. There is the sense of having no faith, lacking faith on for the future, on for a next relationship or for the relationship you're in or marriage. There is that feeling of being in despair and feeling disconnected and not having that type of commitment, that connection with anyone um, like you did in the past, not feeling any hope for the future. As a possible airy sign, I'm uh, not airy, sorry, um, Aquarius. I think it's Aquarius. Last card then is the Hierophant card. So there is tradition coming in. There may be some type of marriage that's coming forward. There may be where the divorce is actually going to be finalised. There is that sense of seeking advice or... A solicitor is going to see someone about this certain situation that you are going through. There is some type of tradition for some of you as well. Some type of engagement for some of you. Some type of marriage. Some type of cooperation. Some type of big situation that's going to happen. A lot of spiritual beliefs for some of you as well. Okay then, so that is your reading. I hope you can all resonate to some extent. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed my videos. Um, I hope you're all staying safe and I hope you stay positive. Um, love and light from myself to you and I see you all again soon. Bye.